Donald Trump Jr. desperately wants to be exactly like his father, but unfortunately, he has neither the personality nor the intelligence to pull that off. See, what Trump Jr. has been doing over the last couple months is he started this little Don Jr. channel. Um, and he brands all his little videos, gets a little Don Jr. logo in the corner. And what he's doing is he is trying to kind of emulate his father's uh, path to politics because that's what his daddy used to do, you know, shortly before he was entering the 2016 race back in 2015. He started putting out these little short videos, giving his thoughts and opinions on the news of the day. And so Don Jr. is now doing the same thing. It is a direct parallel to what daddy did before he got into politics. And it's actually surprising to me how many people have not put these two things together with Don Jr.'s little channel here. Like it is identical. The path he is taking is identical to what his father did. And so many people seem to be missing that. And maybe it's because Don Jr. has no chance in hell of actually being successful with his. As I said, Donald Trump Sr., he had the charisma. He had the ability to manipulate and con people, but by God, that uh, trait must skip a generation because Donnie Jr. simply doesn't have it. Uh, a couple days ago, he did one of his little video rants where he talked about how horrible it was that the Washington football team decided to fire their cheerleaders, but they did so over Twitter. Take a look at this video and you tell me if this looks like a guy who's headed towards major presidential politics. Here it is. Guys, today we're going to talk the Washington Redskins. Uh, if there was an Olympic medal for woke stupidity, these guys would win like the platinum medal. It would be bigger than gold. So what we found out this week was that the Washington Redskins just got rid of their cheerleaders. Apparently they didn't even have the decency to tell them face to face. Their cheerleading squad was disbanded, but apparently they read about it on Twitter. They didn't say, hey, come to the office, we gotta talk. We're pursuing our ridiculous woke agenda, so we're gonna get rid of, you know, one of the last traditions perhaps left. I mean, it's the Washington Redskins. I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. It's, it's the Washington football team. That's how ridiculous team this team is. They've gotten rid of their mascot. They're getting rid of their cheerleading squad. They've gotten rid of their name and they haven't even come up with a new one yet. Yeah. First and foremost, uh, the team is officially, their real name is Washington football team. So calling them anything else is just trying to gin up a base and we can all clearly see through what you're doing. Second of all, as raw story pointed out your dad, when he was president for four short years, because he couldn't win a second term, loved firing people over Twitter. And here's that list. Um, <laughs> Uh, Chief of Staff Reince Priebus, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen, Department of Veterans Affairs Secretary David Shulkin, White House Counsel Don McGahn, and DHS Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency Director Chris Krebs. Those are all people, Don Jr., that your dad fired over Twitter. And then, of course, there's James Comey, who your dad fired on TV. Like, Comey was watching TV and learned, oh, crap, I... I, I just got fired guys. I guess I'm out. Yeah. So, so don't even act like you're actually outraged by anything that just happened here. What you're trying to do. And again, people have to start picking up on this and calling it out in the press. You're trying to gin up these little culture wars, trying to gin up these little woke scenarios as you call them to get your rabid anti everything base excited. It's exactly what your dad did, except your dad was actually good at it. Don Jr. He didn't put on a fake little plaid shirt. He didn't have the weird camera angles and the, uh, you know, kind of, I, I don't want to accuse you obviously of being on drugs, but man, your cadence and your energy certainly seems like somebody who was on some kind of speed as is typically speculated about online about Don Jr. But either way, you don't have what your dad had and everything that your dad had still wouldn't have been enough to win him an election. Had it not all occurred at the right moment in political history here in the United States.
Americans were angry, overwhelming majorities of them angry at Republicans, at Democrats, mad about their lot in life. Your dad struck at the right time. You're not going to get that kind of lightning to strike twice again. It couldn't even strike twice for Trump himself when he tried to run the same campaign in 2020. And here we have Don Jr coming out, pretending to be some kind of every man as if he hasn't been a billionaire since the day he was born and people simply aren't falling for it because he doesn't have the charm or the charisma that his father had to make people fall for it. And Trump senior doesn't even have those things either. So what does that say about junior that he's lacking in these qualities that even his father didn't possess, but still possess them to a greater degree than he did. Trump Jr. is not going to be a successful politician. He's too much of this little freak that we just saw in that video for anyone to ever take him seriously.